let's start with the summary of sleep smarter by sean stevenson introduction do you have sleeping problems do you find it difficult to get sleep is your sleep always interrupted or you feel like you are not getting enough sleep then this book is for you sleeping is an important part of life it's like eating or breathing yet in our fast paced world we often disregard it this book will teach you about the many benefits of sleep it will also teach you several tips which will improve your sleeping habits sleep can make you happier healthier and more successful that is a fact it's time to bid yourself good night sleep well and sweet dreams this book will be your lullaby know the value of sleep people are ignoring enough sleep because they don't really know the importance of it sleep is the natural periodic state of rest for the body and mind it is wherein usually the eyes are closed and the consciousness is lost that's why there is less body movement and less response to stimuli being asleep is anabolic and being awake is catabolic it means that sleep builds you up and being awake breaks you down sleep rejuvenates your body and makes you youthful good sleep strengthen your immune system improves your metabolism and increases your energy a good night's sleep also stimulates your brain and balances your hormones you will not get the state of mind and body you want if you don't get enough sleep in our world today sleep is greatly disregarded the prevailing idea is that the more you work hard the more you will succeed the time to sleep and rest is only when you're dead hard work or perseverance is indeed an important part of success but smart work or quality work is much better if you don't sleep the quality of your work is being compromised research shows that if you spend a day without sleeping there is 6% less glucose going to your brain it makes you dumb this is the reason why you crave for sweets when you lack sleep you want to eat donuts cookies and chocolates because your brain is signaling you to get some sugar here is another important discovery the parts of the brain which deals with logical thinking is more deprived when you lack sleep the prefrontal cortex and parietal lobe are losing 14% more glucose if you stay awake this is why people are prone to doing dumb things past midnight have you ever experienced that it's harder to distinguish right and wrong and make good decisions when you haven't slept you would not do that dumb things in the morning when you are well rested as the definition says earlier sleep is natural period of rest it should not be a disturbance from doing work your body and mind need sleep natural process happen inside you while you're sleeping you're not being affected when you lack sleep you try to work but you don't really get important things done research shows that people who lack sleep 
take 14% longer to finish a task. They are also 20% more prone to making errors. Take the time to get enough sleep. You will see that you can accomplish more if you are well rested. It is never a quality work when it is done by you as a zombie. Here is a sleep power tip. If you have a big project or an exam coming up, allocate enough time for sleep. Make it on your calendar. Remember that you are not slacking off when you sleep. It is also a part of your preparation for your exam or project. Get more sunlight during the day. Have you heard of the circadian timing system? In simple words, it's a 24-hour body clock. If you get enough sunlight during the day, your body will know when to sleep. Sunlight also makes you sleep deeper. The body clock is located in the hypothalamus of the brain. There is a group of nerve cells there which perceives sunlight. That's how your body knows that it's time for sleep. When there is sunlight, your hypothalamus signals your whole body to be awake and alert. If you didn't get sunlight during the day or if you get too exposed with light at night, your body clock will be confused. You will really have troubles in sleeping. But what if you're a desk jockey? What if you are mostly inside the office during the day? Research says that office workers who don't get natural light sleep one hour less every day. They are more prone to sickness low energy and sleeping problems. If you are an office worker, find a way to get some sunlight. It will make you more productive and happier. Here is sunlight power tip number one. Get as much sunlight as you can before going to work, especially between 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Even a 30-minute exposure during that time is good for your body. Here is sunlight power tip number two. If your cubicle at work is like a dungeon, use your break time to go and get some sun. You can go to a window or eat your lunch outside. That 15-minute sunlight break will improve your skin and hormonal function. Avoid the screens before bedtime. We are talking about the artificial blue light coming out of your electronic gadgets. Did you know that this light triggers your body to release daytime hormones like cortisol? Researchers show that two hours use of iPad at maximum brightness is enough to stop your normal release of melatonin at night. Melatonin is the hormone which keeps us young and active. Children produce more of it. Adults have less. Therefore, you will look and feel younger if you let yourself get your daily dose of melatonin. Aside from hormonal dysfunction, artificial blue light from your TV, smartphones or laptops will definitely disrupt your body clock. If you use gadgets every day before sleeping, eventually you will develop isomnia and other health problems. Modern technology is truly amazing. 
but we have to be more mindful of our body's natural needs for sleep here is screen protection power tip number 1 turn off all your gadgets at least 90 minutes before sleeping especially if you are an isomaniac this is really worth to try screen protection power tip is to do other things like for example reading a book or talking to your loved ones you may be really hooked up with your smartphone but reading books is a great habit books give you good stories inspiration and information a new idea from a book can make you a better person nothing beats talking to a person face to face talk to your kids your parents your spouse your partner before going to sleep ask them how their day was what makes them excited nowadays or what their worries are if you do they will also listen to you and make you feel better not only will your sleep habits improve but your personal relationships